Well, Yoshi, yeah. a good performance tonight. How disappointing, though, that you've gone out of the Carabao Cup. Yeah, uh, yeah, we played uh, very well, but result, the final result, we lost. So, yeah, we are disappointed, but yeah, we have to keep working and, yeah, head up, stay head up, yeah. Win. Yeah. You went behind to a deflected th free kick mm -hmm. in the first half, mm -hmm. but what a good response after that from the team. Yeah, after that, yeah, we played very well, and um, you know we were uh, we were very energetic. But um, uh, we needed one more goal. So um, yeah, today is today was very hard for us. On a personal level though, a goal for you and that must have been pleasing for you. You must be pleased with the goal. Yeah, I'm very uh, pleased, but um, yeah. Um, yeah, I'm very happy to score, but um, you know, team couldn't win the game, so um, yeah, I'm not satisfied here. Yeah. Well, back to the Premier League on Saturday against Watford, and as you say, you just have to get your head up now and, and try and win that game. Yeah, we need winning. Yeah, just focus to win the game. Yeah, so on Sunday, yeah, against Watford, yeah, it's very important for us. So, yeah, head, uh, keep head up. <laughs> and yeah, just focus to win the game. Yeah. Ryota Morioka, congratulations with your two goals. Sadly, not enough for a victory. Yeah. Uh, two goals is, is uh, good for me, but uh, we deserve to win this match, so it's not enough. We had enough chances to score even more goals. Yeah. How many times we had the uh, one against one? Uh, the goalkeeper, it's, uh, we have to score it. Yeah. How does it feel the first time scoring for the fans of Waasland Beveren? Uh, it was uh, yeah, so amazing. And uh, uh, from heading, it was uh, my first time in my life, so... First header goal in your life? Yeah. So how does that feel? It's a good moment. Hopefully not the last one. Of course. I tried uh, every match though. This week the first goals, next week hopefully the first win for Waasland Beveren. Yeah. Officer, uh, we try to win next match and uh, we keep it going. Yeah. Keep up the good work. Thank you very much. Alex Deck joined by Yuya Kubo, a forward from Japan who just signed with FC Cincinnati as a designated player. Yuya, congratulations. Welcome to Cincinnati. Thank you very much. So thank you for joining me. Have you ever been to the United States before? Oh, one time I have been uh, in New York. What have you thought about Cincinnati so far? You've just been here for a couple days. Yeah, it is a nice city and the training center was amazing. And you and your wife just had a baby. You had a son. Congratulations thank in you November. Very, very exciting. So why is now the right time for you to make the move to the United States to Major League Soccer in your career and in your life? Because I was interested in America. Also, I want to play in MLS. How familiar are you with Major League Soccer? Many big players is coming, and I'm a big fan of uh, WWE. Two years ago, he played in New York, mm -hmm. New York City. Yep. And yeah. Is it special to you to become the first ever Japanese designated player in MLS? It is very special and I'm very proud. What do you think you can add to this team offensively? I can score the goal and I can make an assist. Yeah, everything about goal. <laughs>
You've played in Belgium, Germany, Switzerland, and Japan. What has been your best experience so far and why? I think in Belgium because I scored, goal, I scored a goal a lot. That's a great reason. <laughs> You've scored in Champions League and Europa League as well as for the Japan national team. What does it feel like to score goals in those big games? Uh, it's special. I feel when I, when I scored those games and uh, I, feel, I feel great. <laughs> What are you most excited to learn about this city? Uh, I'm very, very excited to meet the uh, fans. Yeah. I'm sure they're excited to meet you as well. Thank you so much, Yuya. I appreciate it. How does it feel to be in Finland? Uh, it's very cold, but uh, yeah, I'm very looking forward to play for this team. What was the main reason that brought you on Helsinki for play the Hoiko? Yeah. Um, yeah uh, uh, yeah, HJK is a very big uh, team in Finland and um, yeah, they play uh, the four rounds for the Champions League and um, yeah, I also need the, the time uh, to build my body up because I haven't been uh, playing for these past uh, two, three months and uh, yeah, the Finnish league, they start uh, in April, so uh, yeah, that's the main reason and uh, I hope I could uh, do very well for this team and uh, yeah, I hope we can make the Champions League as well. What are your personal goals for this season? Uh, I would just like to get a very good result, uh, also for the team. Uh, I heard that uh, we've been uh, this team has won the title six years now in a row, and uh, yeah, I hope uh, that it would become seven. Yes. Hi, uh, I'm Mike Havana, and uh, I'm uh, very looking forward to play for this club and uh, start to score goals again. And uh, I hope. Uh, that uh, the supporters could uh, cheer us on to another title. Thank you. How would you describe this season so far? Uh, yeah, good. I think good start. But for me, a uh, little late. So start is late. Of course. Yeah, because after uh, yeah, well, after World yeah, Cup yeah, yeah, and yeah. I'm tired. Yes. And I get injury. I was speaking to Christian Fuchs earlier about yeah. um, you know when Leicester won the league. Yeah. You know what was that like? Oh, this is a good memory. First time uh, in my life, so win the league. Yeah. And uh, Leicester City, so nobody don't know. So yeah. in Japan. Yeah, yeah of course. Uh, first time. Yeah, yeah. But after we won the league, so Leicester, everybody know. How was the World Cup? Because um, you lost to. Um, a very good Belgian team. Yeah. You know, How disappointing <laughs> was that? Because one second you're, yeah. you're leading, <laughs> and next minute it's just. This is uh, so next uh, stage yeah. for uh, in Japan. Yeah, yeah. Maybe improve. Mm. So for next, uh, next World Cup. Yeah. How did you find being away in yeah. Russia for yeah. you know, six weeks? <laughs> I think so. Japan is. My family, yes. Uh, national team, yes. Is everybody so Japanese? Yeah, of course, yeah. So nothing serious. So my situation is not not. When I played the uh, under twenty championship in Malaysia, I played against Angulo, and so that's the reason why I got to know Valencia because he was a great player in that team. Then uh, Valencia uh, became a big club in Europe and. Uh, I think nowadays Valencia is one of the most famous Spanish clubs in Japan. Right after my retirement, I, I went to the Master, which is the FIFA Master. So I wanted to learn uh, different things apart from the pitch, like management, you know, legal stuff and uh, history of football. Then I, I made up my mind to return to the pitch to become a coach. The training sessions that I saw were new to me. I was surprised in a way, but uh, I, I learned a lot from it. He's a very kind of person. He just shared his uh, opinions and his uh, thoughts, his ideas regarding football and uh, management. And before I came here, I thought he's a, a motivator, but I think he's a, a, a great strategist. I think uh, Valencia have uh, 
many young players. So in this year, this season, but in two, three years, um, Valencia will become a big club, you know, more than now.